What's up, people of the internet? It is your boy Spoke to the Pluck here? I thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. It really helps me out a lot. But today we're going to be going over uh, some uh, something sent out by IGN referring to a part of Suplex City in WWE 2K17 that confirms characters. And I already made a video on the confirmed characters. But I'm just going to be doing a quick little breakdown on the amusement park of Suplex City and I wanted to let you guys know that uh, they're going to be doing this every week because of this screenshot here sent out by IGN it states yes every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Pacific time you can come to this page to see a mysterious image representing a neighborhood within the terrifying dystopia of a lost Americana that is Suplex City if you look closely at Mr. Destruction and Carnage you'll find clues as to who is getting added to the roster this week come up with as many as you can then check back here at 9 Pacific time to see how many you could find uh, I was able to find the majority of them and uh, I really think this is really cool guys because it did take it didn't take me a while there were there were some obvious ones in there uh, uh, they were like just like some things that just like you can tell that it's going to be in the game but I'm just going to let you guys know I already made a video on the confirmed characters and the screenshots if you guys didn't see that you should definitely go check that out but anyway I'm going to show you guys uh, in, in a minute here the picture of uh, the first part of Suplex City which is the the old abandonment amusement park that is just destroyed and it has a bunch of debris around and all that debris it looks like debris with actually reference characters and here the pictures right here bam uh, as you can tell you can't really tell because there's so much carnage but I'm gonna be breaking that down for you right now St I'm gonna break it down for you right now starting with this screenshot right here that I took the liberty of taking and uh, bam there is a uh, Ferris wheel that says Spinner Rooney. Spinner Rooney is obviously a reference to the WWE Hall of Famer Booker T. Next we have a sign that says Larry Land. Now Larry Land is a reference to the WWE Hall of Famer Larry Zbysko. Uh, because Larry Land, Larry Zbysko, of course, that was a really obvious one. Next we have a uh, baby with a shirt SL8R. This is of course a reference to Heath Slater because SL8R stands for Slater, Slate Er. Um, Slate R or whatever and next we have a little uh, bumpy car with the ultimate warrior's face put on this is of course reference to the late great ultimate warrior who uh, is confirmed and going to be in the game uh, next here we have a little box with a guy that says the sinister sheet box of course he's wearing a sheet mask as a reference to Eric Rowan who was in the Wyatt family next we have uh, two clowns they're just two regular clowns but they also have face paint this is a reference to Jimmy and uh, Jay of the Usos and next we have a little uh, thing on the Ferris wheel that says, a little post that says Twin Magic. And of course that refers to Brie and Nikki Bella, the Bella Twins, because they're the only ones who can perform, perform ten, Twin Magic so flawlessly. Next we have two uh, Matadores on a bull. This is of course a reference to Los Matadores, Diego and Fernando uh, of Los Matadores. Well, I'm guessing it's El Torito in the front. Next we have a little poster of uh, Stynus of the Loose Cannon. This is of course a reference to the Loose Cannon, Brian Pillman. And uh, next we have a little uh, milk carton with a little boy on that says missing. That is little Jimmy, and little Jimmy refers to our truth. Next we have a uh, sign that says welcome to the wasteland with face paint. That obviously refers to the Ascension Connor and his tag team partner Victor. Next we have a little photo that says strong men, and strong men refers to uh, the WWE tag team of Aiden English and Simon Gotch, the VOD villains who uh, old time in the columns of strong men. Next we have the Anvil, which is of course reference to the legendary Hart family member Jim the Anvil Nightheart. And next, this one kind of got me a little bit, guys. But next we have a poster right here that says the Lion Tamer. This is the reference to Y2J himself. Chris Jericho. If you guys don't know, Chris Jericho had a move called the Lion Tamer, which is basically an alternate version of the Walls of Jericho, where he bent your legs back over your head and put his knee uh, on the back of your head. But uh, I know Brock Lesnar. Uh, I couldn't find any reference to him in uh, Amongst the Carnage, but uh, ho hopefully you guys find it for me. I couldn't find any reference for him, but don't worry, guys. Like I said in my last video. He's definitely going to be in the game. But like I said, every week when they release new parts of Suplex City, I'm going to do a breakdown and tell you guys the uh, characters and the full roster reveal. So don't even worry about that. And until my next video, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Leave a like on this video. Comment about what you thought about it. Please leave a like. It helps me a lot. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.